Hi, this is Joanna and today I'm going to create a card using this really cute dog from Simon's Stamp. And I'm also going to create my own background using this stencil and some modeling paste and some distress ink. And I'm going to color the modeling paste. And I'm sorry about my voice today. I think I'm, I'm getting down with a cold, so please bear with me. And I'm uh, using uh, Nina Solo White as my card base, as usual. And I'm scoring it at five and a half using my Marta Mini scoring board. I love that too. And here I'm creating one additional stencil and I'm using my, my circle punch to do that. And when you use circle punch, you can only punch at the edge of the card. So I have to adhere an additional piece of uh, paper so I don't smear the embossing paste later on when I use it. And here I'm just placing uh, my homemade stencil and my my greeting so I can see that it will uh, turn out the way I want to and I'm just adhering the stencil and the card with some washi tape and then I'm using an acrylic block to smooch out some distress ink and uh, to take out some embossing paste so I can mix them together and I'm using way too much embossing paste here I think I can make easily make like 50 cards or something I don't know what I was thinking but well <laughs> I used way too much but here is the stencil and I'm just adhering it with some washi tape also and I'm just smearing it on here and I'm um, I, I want this the surface pretty smooth so I'm I'm scraping almost everything off uh, so you see I don't use anything almost <laughs> but if you want to if you do like this you can you can always save this if you have an additional jar or something but I don't have that so I just uh, I well I threw it away and here I'm stamping this cute dog and the first one didn't turn out as well so I'm just stamping him again and I'm using Memento because I'm going to do some uh, easy color uh, coloring with Copics and uh, then uh, Memento is really good because it doesn't smear. And here I have something that really works for me because I'm always uh, coloring on Nina Solo White. And uh, if I want to have a true color, I want to know exactly what the color looks like. So I have smeared on uh, all of my Copics. Just scribble on some, some, uh, some lines on a piece of Nina Solo White. So then I can always see what the color looks like on the Nina Solo White cardstock. So that work, really works for me. And here I'm just coloring in this dog and it's it's really easy coloring. Uh, just using two shades of warm gray and I'm using some red for the color. And I actually have uh, three different kinds of Copics. I have the marker and I have the sketch and I have the shell. <laughs> Don't ask me why. <laughs> and here I'm also coloring in uh, the nose. So it's really black. And I'm also using some Ranger enamel accents for the eyes. I think this uh, makes eyes really pop and he looks so cute. So it's uh, his eyes is now dimensional. And I'm using some Wink of Stella of course for his color and for the nose. And here I'm ready to, uh, to make the sentiment. And I'm using my Inka Dinka Doom Magic Embossing Powder Bag. Uh, because I'm going to stamp on vellum and I'm going to emboss it later on. So and this this is really good because then the embossing powder will only stick to, to the Versa mark. So here I'm stamping my sentiment. And I'm just using some white embossing powder and uh, I'm using Ranger Fine Detail Embossing Powder. Uh, I just bought this and I really like it. Uh, so I highly recommend it. <laughs> and here I have just embossed it and cut it out. And I'm placing it on my card. And it's time for me to cut out the uh, the dog. And Simon uh, has a coordinated die for, for, for this stamp set. So uh, I think I will buy this later on. But, but uh, when I bought the dog I didn't have enough money. But here I'm just um, rounding my corners with my corner jumper. And I'm just placing the sentiment and the dog again. And here I'm thinking maybe I should add something extra. So I'm just pulling out some enamel accents and, and also some twine here later on. But I'm deciding not to go with any of the uh, embellishment. Just to keep it quite simple. And I think uh, the dog is so cute so it works by him so he works by himself. And 
and I'm going to uh, to cut out the fold uh, in the card. You see, I, I don't, I can't find my exacto knife, so I'm using uh, this uh, craft knife, like a hobby knife, uh, but it works just as fine. So I'm I'm just making a slit, and I'm threading to the vellum, and then I just uh, fold it. And vellum is. Uh, it's, it's not very easy to fold, but when you have folded it, it will stay in place. And I'm also using some dimensional adhesive to adhere the dog. And I'm using quite a lot of adhesive, because uh, if you have embossing paste, it's uh, it's harder for, for the foam adhesive to stick, I think. So I'm using a lot here as well. <laughs> but this is the card for today, so I hope you liked it. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, and have a really nice day. Bye! Mm -hmm.